Hey, what's up you money makers and it's CMCR me welcome back to the channel I am going to share an update on HCMC many of you have been wondering what is going on with HCMC's spin-off because we heard from the company that the company does not believe this requirements can be achieved prior to June 23rd 2023 and this is in regards to the postponement of the record date for the spin-off of healthier choices wellness corp which is HCWC, a spin-off entity that HCMC has been planning for a while in 2023. Whether it can happen in 2023, what you should be looking out for, what HCMC doing is doing in terms of the price point that you see 0 0.0001, we have been eagerly looking on the SEC's website. The latest and the last update that we see is on July 24th, which is last month in their 10q filing which is the quarterly earning report qu quarter ending june 30th 2023 my goal for this video is to share an update as to what is going on what you should be looking out for whether the spin-off can happen in 2023 or not as well as what hcmc is up up to what are the reasons that we look forward for the hcmc's spin-off what they have been trying to get out of this new company which is now called hcwc they want to get uplisted on nasdaq or nysc one of the major platform as you already know hcmc is an otc stock so if they get listed or uplisted on one of the major stock exchange that is going to be a win-win situation we have been seeing the volume that is slightly higher 126 million where their average volume is about 60 million 60.9 million as you see and the volume that we saw on friday was 126 so what is going on hcmc can they spin off what are the hurdles or obstacles that they have let's talk about all this do make sure that you hit the like button subscribe to the channel for time sensitive updates and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos so i've been covering neo lucid hcmc molen and many other penny stock as well as the growth stock as you can see so don't miss out subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell hcmc has been barcoding while well, you see this is 9900 percent up the real change is all the way right here right before zero it goes to 0 0.0001 now, I'm not sure that whether this is a good opportunity to swing trade because the trades may or may not happen. I'm not a financial advisor, nor am I a certified professional. So do your own due diligence. But do make sure that you hit the like button so we can share a lot of fun that is going on in the market. Fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So let's clear out. So make informed financial decision. I'm not saying buy or sell, but I do foresee that it's challenging to sell at 0 0.0001, especially with the smaller volume. HCMC, once upon a time, they do had, they did have 40 billion in terms of the volume. Now, volume is number of shares transacted during the trading session. You can go check out when AMC, GME, CTRM, and many SNDL, many other stocks, and I've, I used to cover on this channel. We saw HCMC was uh, skyrocketing. It went to 0 0.0065, right? So double zero six five. So it went, it was like 10x, 60x, 6x, uh, 5x, a, a pretty good price point that you can, uh, 50x, sorry, not 5x. A pretty good price point that we have seen that in the past. Now, what is going on? HCMC was focused and HCMC's management corporation, they announced the postponement of the record date for spin-off for the Healthier Choice Wellness Corp. So what they want to do and why they want to do, number one, they have their four plan, um, uh, they, have, they have their four plan, uh, four point plan to increase shareholder value. Number one, they want to do the buyback of their common stock, which did not happen just yet. Now, um, they may or may not do it, but the buyback that they were wishing for is up to $5 million of uh, HCMC's common stock. These are not 5 million stocks, so it is $5 million worth of HCMC common stock. Um, that did not happen. It's not happening just yet, but something that they want to do it. Now, they don't really have to do, do it if they don't really want to because it is up to $5 million. And uh, it's a standard language, by the way. But uh, they, that's what they were hoping for. Number two, they wanted to do the spin-off, right? So that's what we have been looking for, subsidiary spin-off. So they wanted to do the spin-off in forms of HCWC. 
they want to give the stock dividend. Um, now this is uh, this is tied back with subsidiary spin-off. So how they want to do it? They want to give the dividend to their common shareholders in the form of HCWC stock that we were hoping or we were anticipating that the new stock price, uh, the HCWC stock price is going to be ten dollars now the stock dividend uh, is, is to be issued at no cost to hcmc shareholder and it will not decrease the number of hcmc share owned by the shareholder so in other words if you already are an owner or if you own hcmc common stock at the end of or, or on the record date which is the official date as to when you should be owning a stock in order to get eligible for the dividend you will get the dividend now, this is at no cost. It does not really impact your number of shares that you own in HCMC. So it's free money. So that's why people are looking for. That's why the shareholder, current shareholders were looking for this dividend. Now, this dividend, in order to have uh, in order to happen, uh, in order to get this dividend, we need to see that speed up. So th that's why they're both correlated with each other. And that's we that's where we got stuck. That HCMC postponed because of some of the some of the formalities that they were following up was not fulfilled or was not done. I do not really have a lot of insight because they did not declare, so I'm not going to speculate things. Will that happen? I don't know. The long answer is there are a lot of processes that you need to follow in order to get uplisted on either NYSC or NASDAQ. I believe that they were looking for NYSC, but I again, I'm not certain. And what happened is on May 26, 2023, so uh, in last quarter, HCMC mentioned that, uh, that the company is required to obtain certain regulatory and other approvals from SEC approval for the registration of the spin-off shares and stock exchange listing approval. So, of course, before they go to this uh, stock exchange, they need to get the approval. They need to meet the target or targeted uh, criteria or the timeline, so on and so forth, before the distribution can occur. Now, why the distribution can occur? Because that distribution is pretty much the dividend that you have been looking for. At present, the company does not believe that these requirements can be achieved prior to June 29th. So they did not really give the deadline, but that's the distribution deadline, the date HCMC would require to complete the distribution pursuant to Delaware law for the record date to remain effective. Now, with that, Jeff Holman, their CEO, said that we are committed to completing our announced spin-off. So they showed the commitment. Their CEO did mention that they are committed to completing uh, the announced spin-off for HCWC. So I'm hopeful that at one point, at some point rather, it will happen with the, the spin-off of HCWC to the company's shareholders. The delay has been driven by approval matters outside of our control, of course because those are the authorities. You need to fulfill the, the criteria and the condition. And that, that the CEO is saying that that's outside of their control. Despite these challenges, I remain optimistic that these matters will be timely dealt with and the resulting the stock dividends of HCWC will achieve the desired outcome for the company and its stockholders. But after that, I've been looking closely and we do not really see any update on the SEC's website. You can also go check out on SEC.go and you can search for HCMC. I periodically look into it. We still don't have any updates as of now, right? Now with that, they have also been sharing some of these uh, other updates in regards to what they have been doing. And by the way, if you did not already know or many questions were still were, were asked, even though I clarified a couple of times, um, we, we did not really hear. Will I lose my HCMC common stock in exchange for HCWC common stock? The answer is no, you will not lose any of the HCMC common stock. So you retain. So let's say if you have about 1,000 or 10,000 HCMC, you hold it in your brokerage account, you'll see HCWC, which is almost a 10% of total HCMC stock value that you, that you have in form of HCWC. This is being issued to in addition to your HCMC common stock. Now, is this a reverse stock split? No, it is not a spin off. It's a spin off. It's not the reverse stock split. But there is a condition that you need to meet minimum of $10 um, dividend criteria because they're not going to do, at least they were not going to do the fractional shares, right? So you need to understand that part. And uh, again, the calculation as of when they were planning for this spin off was more or less 71,000 approximately stock to one HCWC stock. So what that means is 
um, if you have 71,000 stock of HCMC, which is not a ton of money because 0 0.0001 times uh, 71,000 is not a big number. So you'll get one stock of HCWC, meaning every 71,000 shares of HCMC common stock owned, a shareholder will receive one share of HCWC common stock. The final ratio will be determined on the record date based on the HCMC's outstanding um, on such date, so on and so forth. So don't quote me on that. This was a previous information that HCMC shared on their website. Now, one more thing, why? Many people have been asking what's, what are the reasons as to why this spin-off is happening. Now, there are multiple reasons. Number one, you already know that what is going on. Now, many people are also speculating on the lawsuit because the lawsuit is really a catalyst, but we know that the lawsuit is going to is becoming harder and harder and harder for HCMC. Number one, they have been really struggling to get the PTAB, right? The PTAB is the patent office and the patent has already been rejected. So they have the lawsuit going on in the federal court. The court is saying, wait for the patent to clarify. Let's make it black and white, whether you own the patent or you don't own the patent. Now, Philip Morris has said this patent is ineligible, which means HCMC filed the patent, they got the patent, but the patent is not patentable. And that's when HCMC um, struggle start. The struggle started because now they don't really own a patent, so they went to the appellate process. So there is an appeal pending, and we don't know when it's going to get resolved. But you can expect about one year. Um, so out of that, maybe like three or four months we have passed. So maybe like next six to nine months we have been uh, will have to look out for what HCMC is uh, coming up with. After the patent gets approved, let's hope that it gets approved then the court, the federal court will um, do, will go to the trial phase, uh, hopefully. And these are all ifs and buts. So there are long processes and you already know, I don't need to really tell you how long the law uh, processes and the lawsuits and everything like that takes place. But why the spin-off? The spin-off is the bigger catalyst right now, not the lawsuit because we know that uh, lawsuit may not happen. But the, but the spin-off is basically right now that they have HCMC intellectual property, or the holding company, which holds all their patents. They have multiple patents, as you already know, a laundry list of items. Then the second one is Healthier Choices uh, Market, which are physical stores that includes 18,000 square feet of this natural market, ADS natural market in Florida. Then they have Vitamin Store, their online arm. And lastly, that uh, their Healthier Choices Wellness Centers, uh, that they are trying to get this uplisting for, or the spin-off, um, get up and running. And this new spin-off company is going to increase based on what HCMC told us. And this is the presentation from their investor deck. And the reasons for the spin-off, number one, that they are articulating in a way that they're increasing the shareholder value, which they do because they're going to give 10% give or take uh, more or less um, up, to, up to certain uh, dividend. Don't quote me on the 10% because they may come up with any other um, ratio in, in future. But we are seeing that they're going to get the dividend. All the shareholders are going to get the dividend and that will get up listed in YSC. That means more eyeballs, more volume, and more volume can also increase the price point, the, price, the stock grows, and eventually it's a win-win situation. Number two, market reaction to growth under the healthier acquisition. That's been flat. The stock price has remained the same. Volume has not significantly increased. Additional growth for the sector for HCMC vehicle is not adding shareholder value at the moment. As you already know, the stock has been trading between 0 and 0 0.0001 uh, for a long, long, long period of time. So providing a new vehicle that anticipate that will be listed on major stock exchange with HCMC to be valued upon their worth, separate apart from HCMC and its patent infringement lawsuit against Philip Morris. Now, the funny thing here is HCMC got very popular because of this lawsuit with Philip Morris. And they are trying to spin this off, keep all this patentable stuff with HCMC. HCWC will own all their vehicles, including the stores, so on and so forth. And 100% of the new company officially issued stock will be given to HCMC shareholders as a dividend based on the ownership on the record date set, which is subject to conditions. So don't quote me on that. Once again, HCMC can come up with uh, some different aspects and criteria. Um, with new company spin-off, it is anticipated that this HCWC, which is now the new company, will be listed on major stock exchange and it will be comprised of the former assets of HCMC, which 
includes 14 brick and mortar natural and organic health food stores which is none other than if you take a look right here the healthier choice market which is right here so that will own this subsidiary or this arm number two they'll own the vitamin store which means they'll also own right here let me go back and let me show you they'll also own the vitamin store so number two and number three that will be whole that will be held by hcwc and the wellness center let's take a look right here they'll also own the three wellness centers that is owned by hcmc at the moment and approximately three million dollars of hcmc's cash reserve will be given to hcwc why to run the business and to make sure that they have enough capital, right? The new company has commitments from the formal institutional investors of $13.25 million upon listing. So it is also in HCMC's best interest, right? That they do the spin off that way they can get the $13.25 million upon the listing. Annual revenue is projected to be approximately $60 million and they are delivering what they are saying and I'm excited about it. Now this is separate from whatever the stock price is. I'm not talking about the stock price, right? I'm not talking about that, that if they hit $60 million and they are going to hit $60 million. In my personal opinion, I'm not a financial advisor, do your own due diligence, but I'll, I'll share in one more minute why I'm, I'm thinking that. But $60 million in their store, new company expected to be cash flow positive, which is a key value because right now HCMC is cash flow negative. They have been losing money. Take a look right here. So in Q2, they lost 2.65 million negative net cash income when they had the revenue of 13.57 million, which is why I'm saying that 13.57 million dollar in revenue. And if the company loses money, they have a lot of things to improve in order to get in, in, in order to get the positive cash flow. And HCMC has figured it out, but there are certain um, certain challenges that HCMC is facing. Number one, the lawsuit the lawyers and the law processes are not cheap right they're cost they're super costly and it cmc is paying for that 13.57 million dollars in q2 q1 13.56 and you already know q1 13 million q2 13 million give or take q2 was slightly pinch up now if you think about like q3 and q4 these are major revenue quarters and i wouldn't be surprised if they come up with 15 to 20 million dollars range in terms of the revenue and that puts HCMC if you add 15 million for Q3 and 15 million for Q4 just to be extra conservative we are looking at 30 million dollars in revenue just in the second half of 2023 and they've already done almost 14 times 2 28 million right so they're almost done 58 million they will be almost doing 58 million dollars in revenue so I do agree with the projections that the company will come up with 60 million dollars um, in revenue based on their current store if they add more stores we, it'll be still win-win but what they have done in the last quarter it's right here 13.6 million dollar in revenue in second quarter which is 7.4 million dollars growth um, based on last year year over year growth uh, the record margin 5.1 million 2.8 million is the margin now what they need to get better at is how they can reduce the OPEX, the operational expenses, the human resources expenses, how they can use automation, how they can also save money uh, when they're getting the, the, the they're, when they're buying the cost of goods, right? So let's take a look right here. In last quarter, in ending Q2, June 30th, they had total sell of 13.5, 13.6 million. Total cost of sell is 8.4, 8.5 million. So if they somehow get this, uh, the total cost of sales down. Now, yes, don't quote me on that because there's inflation. Inflation is skyrocketing. But if you're buying in wholesale, you can figure out how you can lower down your cost. And I'm not the company, so don't ask me how. That's the question for the management and I expect them to deliver on that, right? Gross profit, 5 million. Operational expense, 8.2 million. So what's happening really is high cost of goods, right? High cost of sales, basically the raw material or whatever that they're getting and high operational expenses. That adds exp administrative expense, that adds the sales expenses, so on and so forth. The logistics and the loss from operation is 3.1 million. So you already know where they need to work on. If they want to just, if they cut this cost in half, they're already profitable. Can they do it? Of course, yes. The cost of sale is this, now 8.5 million. How they can reduce 10 to 15% um, the cost of sales that they need to figure out, which is $1.6 million, 
uh, 8 times 2 is 8.4 million. And if you just do 20%, it's give or take 1.5 to $2 million, right? So how they can get make $2 million here, $2 million here, which means total $4 million, and their profit is about close to $1 million a quarter. And that becomes that, that makes the company about $4 million if you just add um, quarter over quarter for four quarters you're looking at $4 million of profit and the co company becomes profitable. So that's what they need to figure it out. So this is what you need to keep an eye out for. I don't want to keep talking for a long period of time. It's already 20 minutes video. Now, once again, do hit the like button, write down if you have any questions in the comment section below. I'll make sure to address them and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.